applying the rules some more. So let's do it with some actual equations. Here's an equation where you're taking phosphorus and adding chlorine and making phosphorus trichloride. Turns out if you take the phosphorus trichloride and add more chlorine, you can turn it into phosphorus tetrachloride. So we have a K1 for the first reaction and we have a K2 for the second reaction and we're being asked what is K sub P for this reaction? I could do it one of two ways. I could just go ahead and say what it is from here, or I could do it by recognizing that I could combine these to make it. If I look at this reaction, reaction number three, it's made by taking reaction number one and adding to it not just one of these, but two of them. It has to be two because this created two and I need to be able to cancel that out. If I have a two here, then altogether it would be five. And then this would be a two, which matches. Okay, so really what I did to make reaction number three, I have reaction one and I added two of the second reaction. This is in some sort of an equilibrium and it forms these. And then I am going to double the second reaction. So I doubled it by saying this and doubling this and doubling this and then I can go ahead and say sum it up this cancels out and I'll have two of the phosphorus five of the chlorines and I'll end up with two of the phosphorus pentachlorides if this is true then I can say that K3 is going to be K1 multiplied by K2 squared so this plus becomes a multiply. This two becomes an exponent. So we'll write down what K1 is in terms of this. Pressure of the trichloride squared over pressure of the phosphorus squared and pressure of the chlorine gas cubed. That's the first one. Multiplying it by the second one, which needs to be squared. Pressure of pentachloride over pressure of the trichloride and pressure of the chlorine gas, but that whole thing needed to be squared. That means it has to appear here, and it has to appear there, and it has to appear there. When you get done doing that, cancel out. This one will now be squared, which will cancel with that. Gone. And you'll end up with the pressure of the pentachloride squared over the pressure of the phosphorus squared and the pressure of the chlorine gas, five. On number nine, we want to value. It's a hypothetical one. I would like it to be M, which is the product, over Q and X. But that is not what they've given me at all. Let's see if I can find some way to get there. I've been given that 2M will be in equilibrium with Z and that would have a K sub C value of 6.2 times 10 to the negative fourth. I have also been given that Z can be in equilibrium with 2Q plus 2X, and that that would have a value of 5.6 times 10 to the negative two. How am I going to get from this to what they were talking about? the Q plus X equals M. If I add these, then I'll be able to cancel out the Z's. So if I add those, I get this. If I'm adding those, I am multiplying these. So this would be 6.2 times 10 to the negative fourth, and that would be multiplied by the 5.6 times 10 to the negative two. So the K sub C for this would end up being three point, and I'm gonna to have too many sig figs, but I'll carry them along for a while and I'll get rid of them at the end. Now, what's wrong with this? Well, two things are wrong with it. First of all, it's backwards. I wanted Q plus X to be in equilibrium with M. If it's backwards, that means I'm going to have to do the reciprocal of this. If I flip it around so that it's two Q plus two X becomes two M, then I would want one over this. So one over the 3.472 times 10 to the negative fifth. But I'm still not done because it's twice as big as it should be. The other thing I wanna do is take half of it then. If I take half of it, that's the same as taking the square root. 
boom, square root. And when you get all done with the calculator and you round it back because you only have two sig figs to begin with, you're gonna end up with 170 being the K sub C for this reaction. So it's a matter of applying the steps and not getting lost. You have to do a few of them before you'll be comfortable with them.